Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexis if you're new, and if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. If you clicked on this video, then you're obviously looking for some holiday gifts, and good news, I got a lot of options for you. Put together a list of over 100 different gift ideas. It is a lot, but it's worth it. So if you have any great gift ideas that I missed, please let me know what they are in the comments as well. The majority, if not all of these items are available on Amazon. So if you're last minute shopping, don't worry, they should be able to get to you in time. I have the list on my phone, so I'm gonna be reading off of here. And yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, a cozy blanket. There's the Barefoot Dreams one, which is pretty pricey, but I will include a more affordable option as well. Just a soft, cozy blanket. Who doesn't like that? A weighted blanket, good for people with anxiety. A heated blanket, good for people who are cold. I know I'm always cold. A blanket hoodie, if you wanna wear your blanket, looks like that, yeah, really cute. Okay, next, a robe. I love the cozy robes, they're super in right now. Obviously, some of them are more expensive, so if you're trying to spend more on a gift, that's a good present, but there are a lot of affordable options for those as well. Slippers, I've been super into Ugg slippers this year. They are a more expensive item, so if you're not trying to spend that much, there are other cute slippers that you can buy as well for a way better price. Pajamas, I feel like you can never go wrong with a nice comfy pair of pajamas, also Christmas PJs. I think I'm gonna do a try on later this week, so stay tuned for that. I feel like you can never go wrong with like a hoodie or sweats. I really like the Mad Happy hoodies. Slides are another good gift. I really like the APL slides, but if you're looking for a less expensive version, I'd say Nike slides, Adidas slides, whatever slides your heart desires. Sneakers are also a good gift. If you're just looking for like a general sneaker, I think Air Force Ones are a great gift. Also custom Air Force Ones I think are really cool. I follow Major Waves on Instagram and he makes really cool ones. I'll leave it right here. Those would be a little more expensive expensive than regular Air Force ones. If you're trying to spend more on sneakers, I feel like you can never go wrong with a pair of Jordan ones. I have gotten those as a gift, I've given those as a gift, and everyone always seems to love them. Moving on to like some kitchen things. If you have any friends or family who are coffee lovers and don't have a Keurig, get a Keurig. There's so many different price points and literally it's the best. I use mine every single morning and I, don't know what I'd do without it. If you're trying to spend more and you have a coffee lover, I'd say like a cappuccino maker. Those are really cool. I've always wanted one. I don't think I'm gonna get one this year, but for our matcha lovers, I'd say a little matcha kit. Also for tea lovers, there's this super cool kettle I'll put right here I'm obsessed with. Looks like a piece of art kind of. It would look really nice in your kitchen. And it's really cool because it heats up, like you plug it in and it just heats up the water. You don't have to leave it on the stove. A cold brew coffee maker. You don't have to spend money on the expensive cold brews of the market or going out to get coffee. You can just make it yourself. Milk frother. So I have the little handheld one, but I think the bigger ones are really cool too and probably easier than holding it. I like both and I will put both down below, but Milk frother, use it every day, and it is a game changer, let me tell you. Cute mugs are always a good gift. I don't know who doesn't like to get a mug. Like, they're so fun. You can get fancy looking ones. You can get funny ones. Like, a mug is always a good go-to gift. Also, to-go mugs, I found really cute ones on Amazon. I'll put them on the screen right now. Reusable cups like this. I think this is a good gift. I literally use this every single day. Also, it's environmentally friendly, so we love that. Yeah, an iced coffee cup. I saw this on TikTok. It's really cool. I think it's called the Hyper Chiller. Not sure, but I'll put a picture of it right here. Basically, when you make hot coffee, it turns it cold. Like, it turns it into iced coffee instantly, which I think is really cool and would be a game changer. I definitely have that on my own Christmas list this year. An air fryer. They have mini ones. They have big ones. They're great. Blender, also a really good present. A nonstick pan, got this for my mom last year. She loves it. Oh, a mini fridge. Was never someone who wanted this, but I know my brother, like his whole life, always wanted a mini fridge in his room, so that could be a good gift. Phone cases are, I think, such a good 
go-to gift. Who doesn't love a phone case? Who doesn't need a phone case? I have a video that I will link above that has tons of cases, even if we don't have the same size phone. Once you click the link, you can find it for your phone. So highly recommend that. If you're trying to go crazy with the present, you know, the new iPhone 12 just came out. I personally can't afford to get that for anyone, but I know I would love to get that. You could also get someone a laptop if you're trying to get a more expensive gift. An iPad, an Apple Watch, really all things Apple, I feel, make good gifts. But if you're not trying to spend that much like me, you could get cases. So you could get an iPad case, you could get an Apple Watch band, a computer case, whatever your heart desires. Another thing that I think is really good this year are stands. So like a stand for your phone, a stand for your iPad, a uh, stand for your computer. I know I've been having a lot of neck pain lately because I've been looking down and that's obviously not good for you. So yeah, I'm gonna link those down below. Those are all really good gifts in my opinion. Tile trackers, those little trackers for people who lose things, thoughtful gift and could help someone out. Portable phone charger, I don't know about you, but my phone seems to be dying more often because I'm on it too much. A UV light phone sanitizer. I think you can actually put other things besides your phone in these, but you know you want things extra clean these days, so I think that could make a great gift. The blue light glasses, definitely need some of those, and you probably do too if you're watching this right now and you're not wearing them. Sunglasses also make a great gift. There's these really cute ones on Amazon that I'm gonna link below. They look fancy, but the price is right. Also, mini purses, I feel like, are a great gift. That is something on my list. I love the Telfar bags. I actually just got a few, but I think they're sold out right now. Another brand that has really cute mini bags is Brandon Blackwood. Probably gonna get one of those next. Where go wrong with some jewelry? I found some cute little gold hoops that I will link below. I feel like glasses and jewelry or glasses, purse, jewelry, all of that together, great option. Now moving into like hair and beauty. Hot tools like blow dryer, straightener, curler are all great gifts in my opinion. I just got the Revlon blow dryer brush and I'm obsessed with it. My sister has like the hot tools brand and she says that one's amazing as well. If you're trying to spend a lot, I would say the Dyson Airwrap is supposed to be amazing. So that's on my list. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but let me know if you have it or if you try it out. Cute little hair care set. I know The Way has some or for people who love skincare, I think The Ordinary has some cute like skincare gift sets. Something I've been using a lot lately is bubble bath. I have the Dr. Teal's one and it has Epsom salt in it, so it's good for your muscles. Lotion, body scrub, also an ice roller or a jade roller or both. Great gifts. You could do a spa headband. I just got one from Kitsch and it's been super helpful. An eye mask, a sheet face mask, a lip mask. You could do lip balm or chapstick. You could get one of those tiny cosmetics fridges. I actually found one that charge through a USB outlet. So if you want to put food in it and take it in the car, or if you need to travel with your cosmetics in the car and you don't want them to get hot, I thought that was really cool. Tanning oil drops. I've given the Isle of Paradise drops before and those made a great gift. You can never go wrong with some perfume or cologne, make great gifts, and if you get the wrong scent, it's easy for people to switch out. Silk eye mask or a silk pillowcase or get someone a nice new good pillow. Candles, candles you can never go wrong with. I'm obsessed with the Lex Pots candle. They're selling them at Nordstrom now and that is definitely on my list this year. I also like the Boy Smells candles and the Homesick candles to give as gifts. I feel like the Homesick ones are really cute because if you aren't with a friend or family member, you can like send them a specific city. The star light projector, I have this, I've given it as a gift and people seem to love it. I'll put a picture right here. So LED strip lights, I have those up too and I love them. Light up alarm clock, so for people who don't wanna hear the 
annoying alarm sound in the morning. The light up alarm clock is supposed to wake you up naturally. Sun lamp for people who are in gloomy or cold weather. Um, seasonal depression is real, so that could be a great gift. A Himalayan salt lamp is supposed to bring your stress levels down. They also look really cool. An essential oil diffuser. I have had my eye on the Vitruvi one recently. I think I'm saying that right, but that one is a little more expensive, so I'm gonna include another option as well. Found one that's like a better price and it's really cool because it lights up, like you, you can use it as a nightlight, which actually I have a diffuser like that and I really like it. Also, sorry guys, it got dark while I was filming this, so if it looks really dark in here, it's because it is. Workout clothes, you can never go wrong with some Lululemon. I also love all the set active sets. Prices are a little better than Lulu. We'll also link a few options from Amazon that are really great prices down below as well. Foam roller, yoga mat, small weights, resistance bands, home workout things in general, I think are a great gift. Massage gun, if you want the Theragun, it's a great gift, it's really expensive. I have the more affordable Amazon option. I will link it down below. I'm obsessed with it. I think they do the same thing. They're just different prices. Foot massage machine, a foot massager. Guys, I know it's random, but we're just gonna keep going through it. Polaroid camera, or if you don't wanna get someone the whole camera, they have Polaroid printers. So you can take pictures from your phone and then print them out and they look like they were taken on a Polaroid camera. If you don't wanna spend that much, obviously those can be expensive. You could get a disposable camera pack. Super cute, people love them. Get little mini tripod for people who maybe like TikTok or like taking pictures, whatever it may be. And a ring light, I'm using it right now and I love it. You could get someone a record player. I feel like that's a good, thoughtful gift or if you know someone with a record player, you could get records. On the music topic, you could get AirPods. The new AirPods Pro are supposed to be amazing. Um, you could get Beats headphones. Speakers are a great gift, and there's so many different kinds. You can get a waterproof speaker, a portable little, I guess all speakers are portable, but like a mini speaker that's easy to travel with. So many options. A portable mini projector is such a great thing, especially if you do travel or if you just wanna take it from place to place with you, like to a friend's house or wherever. I just got an Epson photo scanner. It is on the more expensive side, but if you have like parents or grandparents who have a lot of old pictures and you wanna scan them all super fast and make them digital, this scanner is amazing. I highly recommend it. 23andMe, I feel like could make a great gift for people who are interested in their background. For people who don't have an electric toothbrush and then get an electric toothbrush, I feel like it's a great gift. You don't realize what you're missing until you have it. Card games, so there's We Are Not Really Strangers. I haven't tried that yet, but it's supposed to be amazing. You could get the classic What Do You Meme or Cards Against Humanity. Puzzle, I feel like this is a great grandparent present. You can get customizable puzzle with like family photo, whatever it is, and it's unique because no one else has it. Tote bags, I just got a really cute bag from ASOS with like a saying on it. Also found some on Amazon. Who doesn't need a bag? You can put groceries in it. You can put whatever your heart desires in it. For all my animal lovers out there, get pet toys. I said dog toys because I only have dogs, but dog toys, dog bed, dog clothes, cat toys, whatever animal you have toys. Like you can never go wrong with food or flowers or wine. If you're of a drinking age, you could get the fancy like wine decanter. And then last but not least, gift cards always make a great gift. You can get them to wherever you can get whatever price you want. I know some people say it's less thoughtful, but honestly, I'm the type of person who likes to pick my own gifts out. So I wouldn't mind getting a gift card also if you're shopping last minute, a gift card is always great. And if you can't spend money this year making a gift card yourself, something that a family member or friend could redeem, like cooking dinner or washing their car, whatever it is, I feel like 
that is a great gift as well and that is the most thoughtful thing because you can make it specific to the person all right guys that is the end of the video i know it was a lot if you made it to the end please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're still watching right now comment a present emoji down below or if you're on your computer just comment that you made it to the end really hope this video helped you out and i will see you guys in my next one bye